In this video, we're going to focus on how we can show or hide a chart once we click a checkbox. So right now, if I click on this, you can see here now, it will show it. And if I click on this one, it will show another one. And if I click on this one, it will show that next one. So if I uncheck, it will hide the one that will be matching with it. So let's start to explore how we can do this wonderful effect here. In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' question, which is how to hide or how to show and hide charts with checkboxes in Chart.js. So this question came from one of my other videos about how to have multiple charts in one page with Chart.js. And if you scroll down here, you can see this question came from Ivan. And a special thank you to Ivan Body6 for asking the question. And this is what Ivan asked. And we already had some communication, and but in essence, Ivan was asking this. If the page loads, there's no chart visible yet, but there are checkboxes. So once the checkboxes has been checked, at that moment, show this matching chart. All right, so to do this, let's start to work with a default code. So make sure you go to chartjs3.com getting started. And you might notice this, for some reason, Google Chrome gives me this error, but anyway, let's copy this code here. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this specific, specific video that explains it all. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just paste this in here. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to cut this out and paste that in there. All right. So what I want to do now, if I refresh here, save that refresh, we have this bar chart, but I want to have a second chart and I will reduce the size of this, this chart as well. To reduce the size chart box, put this on 400, that'll be fine. And then I will, duplicate this here you can see here my chart put in here say number two and i will also add up a config number two and of course the get element by id number two because there's a second canvas we're going to put in there for this for the config i will just put in here number two why because i want to make sure that this has a different type of chart it's a line chart the data will be maintained meaning that it will grab the original data here so it will be very similar so then what I want to do here in this, I just want to add up here another canvas and this canvas is called number two. Save that, refresh, there we are. So now we have our charts or two charts here, two different charts. Let's put in here now check boxes. To do this, I'm going to copy this here, just paste that in there and add a div. And then I will say here paragraph and in this paragraph, I'm going to say checkbox or input type checkbox, checkbox, and then I'm going to copy this as well. So for the, for do by doing this, I want to do a special trick here, which I highly recommend you to use as well. So in here, or before I even do that, say chart one here, chart two there. All right. And then what we want to do here is the following. We want to have this here. Um, let's see what I want to do was matching it with the chart ID information. So basically, if I checkbox this or click on this, I want to put in what I call a data, data attribute with extra information that basically refers us to this item here. So what we're going to do is here, we type in data dash, then we can give it here any type of name. So I'll just say a chart dash name equals this item here. I'm going to show you later on why because they will save us later some time with this and it can loop through multiple checkboxes if you have more than one. So I say here, another one, say number two. All right, so once I do this and I save this and refresh, we have this here, but what I want to do here, I want to put this here up. So let's do that, is some CSS here. If I'm not mistaken, it should be here in the chart box. Then I say here, a flex direction. And then, because this is a flex box, if you want to understand more about CSS, let me know. Put it in the comment section below. I will. I can make videos about this. And I will say here, uh, column. Save this. Refresh. There we are. The only thing what I would like to do here is just some padding or margin here between. So in the chart box here, because these are chart boxes that we are focused on. Let me say here, margin uh, dash bottom. 10 pixels. Save that, refresh, there we are. All right, so what I want to do now is because we have this here, but this still does nothing. Because what I want to do here in JavaScript, we need to identify which checkbox we selected, plus 
what is the matching checkbox that we want to trigger and of course we need to give this a or sorry this one here a class of display none. so we say here class height I'll just copy this and say here as well and then of course here I'll say a dot height and here display none. if I do this you will see it will not hide yet and the reason why it doesn't hide is because this canvas here has a JavaScript code that forces a block what we can do is two things there's two options you can do here exclamation mark important which is the easiest one but you might say well this is not really the desirable version because many people in CSS say this is no good what we can do else is another option is just to put in here class or a div we nested it in a div that says here display none so that will be one of the other options here so for now I'll just leave it like this just to make it simple all right so now you can see it hides them nicely now let's work with the checkboxes so we can recognize whatever checkbox we click and then it will grab the data attribute here with the matching name of the ID so this is why we're going to do this I'm going to show you exactly now why so first of all let's create a function and let's call this function let's put in here some extra enters uh, this function we will just say show chart very straightforward then in here I want to use here I'll say here this is a checkbox parameter however it means still nothing but if we go up here I'm going to show you now what I'm going to do here we're going to say here in the checkbox on click function then here we say show chart but then we say this that this value or argument what will what it does is the following it will recognize which checkbox we clicked on so if we click on the checkbox here this specific checkbox it will say this checkbox will show us all the data matching with it which means that it will also show us the chart name or the data chart name attribute of my chart and for this one here it will do the same I'm going to copy this same and there you are of course I want to show you this so I'm going to say here console log checkbox copy this save that and then refresh so now if I here on the console log click on that you can see here we get the data chart name equals my chart so how can we extract the exact value here let me show you how to do that basically it's the following it's here or we can just do it in here and just say a dot and remember when we have this well let's grab this uh, data attribute here I'm going to copy this full put it here down so this part is essential no matter what you cannot skip this part so this is a required one this here the chart name can be anything it can be chart ABC or just only chart the reason why I'm doing now two words is because we're going to use something here and the dashes are required if you do two words but then you will have to do something else here so first of all this data dash is called data set and then we have a dot and then we have the second word here which is a chart so we say chart oh not here but here up chart and then here because its name is a second word we need to do here cattle case meaning capitalized letter for the second word if I do this and save this now refresh look at it you will see now we extract the matching value here beautiful so now with this we can start to work so all what I want to do here is basically well let's say here chart ID let's give it a constant I'll say equal basically this one here so now if we have this here or we could even do this document dot get element by ID or what's the ID name well the one we just grabbed put in this here so now we can specifically get that one and then what we want to do is basically toggle and toggle here on this class here so what we're going to say here is the following if what I want to do here is basically checkbox whatever we selected dot checked equals false equals strict false by default it is set on false if, if that is the case then what I want to do is I want to say this chart ID dot class list uh, toggle no I guess we can do, we don't even need to do toggle 
see or here or we don't need to we need to set it on true because it is unchecked by default so what will happen then is if we check it that's a toggle effect because toggle cannot this uh cannot figure out if it's true or false oh i guess we have it here that's already this already does it but if it's toggle here so in that case it doesn't matter basically so if it's a toggle then we want to toggle this uh item we want to toggle height so now class list toggle height all right so let's say this refresh click on this all right height is not defined toggle the class of this save that refresh click never unclick all right so we have an issue here or maybe we can even do this i guess we could even do this sorry about that i guess we don't even need to do that we can just refresh here and we toggle and toggle on another one of course that's the way we do it sorry about that so this is basically how we do it so imagine because you can see here this is chart two imagine you have another chart let's add another one here chart number three and this could be chart number three and chart number three has as well conflict number two and then here we can copy this put in here chart number three id and the same here paste that here and then we say this equals number three refresh click number three all right and then click number two all right and finally this one and then you can see here of course our item is too overlapping so that's why it shows like this but anyway this is basically the way you can do it and if i remove one i uh, show this one let's say i want to remove that one there you are and I remove this there you are and that this is basically the way you can play around with showing and hiding a chart in with checkboxes so if you like this and maybe you're still interested a bit more about the data attributes that we explained here because there's a lot more we can do with that i would highly recommend you to check out this specific video here about css style with data attributes but isn't there are some i also have another video about javascript uh, with data attributes those two are very interesting as well absolutely recommended to check them